What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to write your answers in exponential form when performing prime factorization. So let's say you were asked to find the prime factors of 60. Okay, so we would just ask ourselves, what are two numbers we can multiply together to get 60? So we can break this down into 6 and 10. Now, do we have any prime numbers? No. So we can keep breaking these down. 6, I'm going to break down into 2 times 3. And 10, I'm going to break down into 2 and 5. Okay, now do I have any prime numbers? Yes, I do, right? 2 is prime, 3 is prime, 2 again is prime, and 5 is prime. Now, what do you do when you find all your prime factors? Well, we're just going to multiply them all together, right? So we're going to have 2 times 3 times 2 times 5. Okay, and this is going to equal our original number, right, 60. Okay, now if you want to write your answer in exponential form, there's kind of like two steps. So the first step would be reorganizing your numbers down here from least to greatest. So let's do that real quick. So we have a 2 and a 2, right? So we have two 2s. So we'll do 2 times 2. Then we'll multiply that by 3. Then we'll multiply that by 5. And again, this is equal to 60. Okay, so now that we sorted our numbers here, the last step is simplifying our answer using exponents. How are we going to do that? So whenever we have repeating numbers, so like right here, right? 2 times 2. We can simplify this with an exponent. So 2 times 2, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 squared, right? Because 2 times 2 and 2 squared are the same thing, right? They are equivalent statements. So this 2 squared is just a simplified version of this up here, of the 2 times 2. Okay, so 2 times 2, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 squared. And then I'm going to bring down the rest of my answer. So this times 3 times 5 is equal to 60. Okay, so this is how you write your answer in exponential form. Let's try one more example. So what if we had the number 200? Okay, so what two numbers can I multiply together to get 200? Well, I can multiply 2 and 100. Do I have any prime numbers? Yes, I do. This 2 right here, right? So I'm going to circle it. Okay, 100 is composite, so we can still break it down. So I'm going to break it down into 10 times 10. Okay, now do we have any prime numbers? No, 10 is a composite number, right? So I'm going to break these down again. So 10, I'm going to break down into 2 times 5, and I'm going to do the same thing right here, 2 times 5. Okay, now do we have any prime numbers? Yes, we do, right? 2 is prime. 5 is prime, 2 is prime, and 5 is prime. All right, so there's no composite numbers left. There's nothing left to break down, so we're done. Okay, so for my answer, I'm going to multiply out my prime factors, right? 2, 2, 5, 2, and 5. Okay, so 2, right, times 2, times 5, times 2, times 5. And that is equal to our original number up here, 200. Now remember, there's two steps, right? I want to multiply these out from least to greatest. So let's do that first. So we have a 2, a 2, and a 2, right? So 2 times 2 times 2. Then we're going to multiply that by a 5 and a 5. So 5 times 5. That's equal to 200. And now my second step is just going to be simplifying some of these repeating numbers, okay? So here we have 2 times 2 times 2, right? So we have three 2s. So I'm going to simplify that with an exponent. So it's going to be 2 to the third power, right? Or 2 cubed. So 2 times 2 times 2 is the same thing as 2 cubed. And then I'm going to multiply that by these 5s, right? Because these 5s are also repeating. So 5 times 5, I can simplify that as 5 squared. And again, this is equal to 200. Okay, so this is your simplified answer in exponential form. 2 cubed times 5 squared is equal to 200. 
All right, guys, so that's how you write your answers in exponential form. I hope the video was helpful and it made sense. If it did, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's a pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out and I'll see you there.